my name is Morgan Kinney. I'm here with Sam Keys, who's racing on Chico 2. And he's actually just won the Solo Mac. He is the youngest skipper ever to win this event. And Sam, how do you do that at such a young age? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of time, a lot of preparation. Uh, I spent a lot of years doing double-handed sailing and doing some single-handed sailing. And, and it just kind of translated into this. But um, to get the boat ready, uh, it just a lot of work and changing it all up and you know I had to put an autopilot on it and trying to get the sails all ready to go to optimize for the solo. Um, I changed up little little things with the spinnaker so that way it goes from being crewed to solo and makes it a little easier to handle. Um, but for something like a solo Mac it's you can almost do it like in a sprint. It's, it's not like a marathon, you can just kind of sprint right through it, so I just kind of push right through it. Um, and so do you sleep at all during this? How does that work? No. Uh, I lie down for the race, I probably lie down uh, about five or six times. And every single time, I click my watch out for 15 minutes, and every single time that I, I try and close my eyes, the boat would kind of change heel after a minute or two, and I'd look up and go, oh man, I think I gotta I go back to doing stuff. Oh, it's only been three minutes. And <laughs> that was the whole race, that was the whole race of my sleep, you know, three minutes, just close your eyes and hope for the best. And, yeah. Now that's rough. How long did it take you to get up there? Uh, it took me just under 48 hours. Oh, that's quick though. Yeah, um, it was just perfect conditions for the boat, light air upwind. It's, it, it point, the boat points really high and goes really nice in light air, so I was just—it was just the perfect wind, perfect angles for everything. And uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping to get a little faster, but it was a decent time. You still beat your dad, right? Yeah. You're always racing against your dad. You went from racing with him to against him. And how does he feel about you taking over the racing scene, winning and you know beating him? He loves it. He gives me, uh, hey, he teases me quite a bit about it, but I know he loves it. Uh, it's his son that he's taught everything he knows, and, and also it's, it's translating into successful sailing and a successful career. And during racing, do you ever talk to each other, or do you stay radio silent and follow each other up the course? Yeah, well, we they make you uh, do radio call-ins. Every okay. six hours, you know, this is your this is your coordinates, and everybody's supposed to call in. And we had a certain channel, my dad and I, which would talk on, just to kind of BS and, and say and ask how things were going. But uh, I got so far ahead, and I was having so much radio trouble that I didn't we really stopped communicating after about a good 24 or 30 hours. I couldn't uh, I, I couldn't get them anymore, unfortunately. And does he start to worry about you at that point? Or? Oh, I don't think no. so. <laughs> He knows you'll be up there. Yeah. Excellent. So how do you go from racing solo up to the island to racing with a crew of how many on Chico 2? As in... Like, what changes? How does that dynamic change? Can't you just kick them all off the boat and do it yourself? I wish. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you just kind of got to... It just it totally it just got to change the mindset. Luckily, I've had a few weeks to, to recover from the whole thing and, and get past it. So... You know, hopefully I can just put it behind me and be a, and be a team player with everything. Um, we got a pretty small crew anyways, I think about six. So it's not like a 12 or 15 person crew where there's a ton of personalities. There's only a few people on the boat. So hopefully it won't be too much of an issue. Now do they let you sleep knowing that you can do this without sleeping? Uh, no. I'm supposed to be on, on deck. There's three of us that are supposed to be on deck, but two of us at all time. And uh, I don't, I don't like sleeping too much. Anyways, I've gotten so used to to not sleeping that going and closing my eyes for 15 minutes is absolutely fine. Okay. And what do you think? Is this going to be similar conditions to the Solo Mac, or completely different? I think this will be light air downwind, and for me, doing Solo Mac is light air upwind. So yeah, it'll be different, but. The boat excels in light air, so I think it'll, it'll go okay. Are you going to use the same route generally, or? Uh, we'll see. Come on, give us your secrets here. 
you're now the youngest solo Mac winner, you have to have some secrets up your sleeve. Don't worry, we won't post this till later. Go to the shore. Go to the shore. Which shore? Go west, then and head as far north as you can, and then go well, east. Go west? You're going to run into the shore. Stay west. Stay, west Stay on the west, west shore. So when? When do you cross? That's a big question. I, I almost think well above the, closer to Manitowoc or Fort Washington. That's from what I've seen. Okay. I, I like the Wisconsin shoreline. I think it's uh, obviously, I, I'm from You're from Wisconsin. But so. The Michigan shoreline and this weather can be kind of weird. It's, I, I'm not, I don't like the Michigan shoreline in light air at this time of year. The Wisconsin shoreline is perfect in light air this time of year. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.